are literally pressed down with all of those G-forces. And when you hear about these astronauts, or soon-to-be astronauts, I should say, but when you hear about how this crew was training, that's what they're talking about. They were doing all of those centrifugal trainings to, to get their bodies used to what it feels like to feeling all of those G-forces. Uh, they were also getting used to what it feels like uh, when you actually get those few minutes of weightlessness by traveling in, in the vomit comet, as they call it, those big, where you get those, the big up and down curves and you get to experience just a few seconds of weightlessness. And now I, I believe uh, my, what I am seeing is a little bit of head, uh, ahead of what you guys are seeing, uh, but we did get a glimpse into uh, inside Spaceship Two, and maybe you guys will see it so that's in just in a, a few moment. more minutes. But um, we know the speed is slowing down dramatically now, now down to this Mach 1. Rachel, what does it feel like? Is it like a roller coaster where you have that momentary sensation of weightlessness, but you're feeling it for several minutes? That's exactly it, Brian. That's what they describe it as. That moment when you get to the very top of the roller coaster, you're just coming out the edge, how that your stomach kind of drops and you're kind of uh, floating there for a minute. It's exactly that but for a prolonged period of time. And we just saw here on the ground at Spaceport America a brief glimpse of Richard Branson and his fellow mission specialists floating in uh, microgravity inside VSS Unity, uh, earning those astronaut wings. And here on the ground, you, there's been tons of Cheers here. They just announced that you know today space is Virgin territory. So the team here at Virgin Galactic, incredibly proud of what they have pulled off. Uh, you know they have been talking about Richard's flight, Richard's flight, Richard's flight. Si you know for nearly two decades now since they've been since they bought the technology to Spaceship One from the Ansari yeah. X Prize back in 2004. So you know this has been a long time in the making, and I cannot wait to speak to Sir Richard Branson when he lands after this historic flight and hear what he has to say, Brian. Retired NASA astronaut Daniel Tani also with us. Uh, Daniel, describe the sensation that they're going through right now. I, well, uh, boy, my first moments of zero G are just, uh, I, you know, it's locked into my head. It's just fantastic. Uh, in my case, on the shuttle, we were strapped in pretty hard. So uh, uh, when you're strapped in, you don't really feel, you're not like thrown out of your seat, but you see things. You, you, you hold up your pencil or your book and you let go and it floats there so for me visually it was the first thing but then getting out of the seat and floating around just a spectacular uh, sensation and now the, the plane is speeding back up 17 uh, uh, 1700 miles per hour so what's happening now are they coming out of weightlessness they're now heading actually quick, quickly back to earth they're now at 99 you know and they're now the, the the period of weightlessness is now over tell us what's going to happen next daniel well, it's not clear it's over. So what's happening is they're, they're, they were, they were flown, uh, uh, thrown up, and then they and the airplane are falling down to Earth at the same time. So they're going to be picking up speed as they fall down to the Earth. But inside the airplane, that's, that's them floating inside the spaceship. So, so it is picking up velocity, but inside you're still floating relative to this, the spaceship. So that's the zero-G feeling that you get. And once they come back into the atmosphere and engage all the... Uh, uh, aero surfaces so that they can start slowing down and making their way back to the runway. That's when they'll pick up the G's and uh, and uh, that, that zero G time will be over for them. All right, Daniel, stay with us. CNN aerospace analyst Miles O'Brien also with us.